สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a Today is Monday, December 27. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by p v c p h u k e t c o m Thailand's public health ministry is saying that the country could see a surge in COVID-19 infections between 10,000 to as many as 30,000 cases per day just after the new year, and that cases of the new Omicron variant wave soared from 104 last week to 514 as of Sunday. The announcement was made today by senior health officials in the capital, and they outlined a few scenarios. In their estimate, the best case scenario is that Thailand sees between 10 to 15,000 new cases and about 70 COVID deaths per day by late January. The worst case scenario, they say, would see figures jump to 30,000 cases and 180 deaths per day, depending if Omicron infections spike quickly. So far, experts at UNICEF and the U.S.'s CDC say that the Omicron variant is more transmissible, yet much less severe than the previous Delta variant. Although there have been multiple deaths attributed to the new variant worldwide, all based on data collected so far, Thai officials believe no matter which of the scenarios takes place, the situation in the kingdom would be brought under control in one or two months. However, there have been reports of Omicron clusters in the kingdom, including over 64 infections in Kalasin province, which officials say began at a pub and restaurant. There have also been cases found in Songkla province and suspected cases in Chiang Mai province. Health officials say that the number of severe cases may be as low as 2%, as opposed to the average rate of 5% in patients infected with the previous variants in Thailand. With the chief of s i r i r a j Hospital's Division of Respiratory Disease and Tuberculosis Department saying, "quote Omicron is unlikely to overwhelm the country's healthcare system as the previous variants did in past waves of COVID-19." For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. All international passengers arriving in Phuket must now complete a public health form before being allowed to disembark from the plane. The new rule came into effect following the Civil Aviation Authority of Thailand issuing a notice to pilots last Friday. The reasons given for introducing the requirement were to quote reduce congestion in airports to prevent the spread of COVID-19. The compulsory health form affects all travelers coming to Phuket under the Phuket Sandbox Scheme, as well as the remaining Test and Go visitors who were approved before that scheme was suspended. Phuket currently remains the only port of entry to Thailand under a sandbox scheme with no quarantine. Of note, travelers may still enter the country under the 14-day alternative quarantine option. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. A local man has come under criticism for posting online a video showing himself and a friend riding on the back of a turtle that had come ashore at Bangtao Beach. The video was posted last Wednesday on Facebook on a page of Farouk Utai shortly after 10 p.m. After receiving some criticism online, Farouk Utai replied by saying, quote, "Do you know normally people here in some areas eat turtles, and I don't want to see them being eaten or traded. And at first, my friends chased them into the sea, but they were still eating jellyfish. This is why I had to ride on his back, make it feel scared, and escape into the sea." Before commenting, please ask for the reasons for the action. Thank you very much. The video itself did not appear to show the men trying to scare off the turtle. Instead, it appears the men were joyriding on the turtle's back. One of the men is seen posing while planking on his stomach while riding the turtle. An officer at s i r i n a t Marine National Park confirmed that no action could be taken by park officers as the incident occurred outside the park's boundaries. At the moment, the Phuket Marine Biological Center is looking into the matter, saying that green sea turtles are protected under the Wildlife Preservation and Protect Act 2019. On Friday, officers at s i r i d a t National Park reported a green turtle coming ashore to lay eggs on Mai k a o Beach, and it's unclear if this was the same turtle in the video. Due to continual expansion of residences and the tourism industry, there are fewer and fewer areas suitable for turtles to lay their eggs on the island. Although the pandemic travel restrictions have allowed for a reprieve for the local marine ecosystem to recover, and many green turtles, even leatherback turtles, are been spotted returning to Phuket beaches to lay their eggs. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com.
quality guaranteed since 2012. Call M and Painting today. The biannual Seven Days of Danger Road Safety Campaign will ramp up this week into the new year and it comes just as another person lost their life on a Phuket road. Phuket police and disaster officials are gearing up for the Seven Days of Danger Road Safety Campaign for the new year, which begins on Wednesday and will continue through to January 4th, followed by a quote, intensive control period from January 5th to the 11th, according to police. Main checkpoints and secondary checkpoints will be set up throughout the island, manned by Phuket police officers and civil servants, to reduce accidents during the Phuket New Year's Festival, according to authorities. The news comes as 36-year-old man died shortly after midnight this morning, northbound on Tepkasatri Road. The man, a Thai national, was driving home from Phuket town, police saying at speed when he lost control of the pickup on the wet road and slammed into a power pole near the pedestrian overpass near the Wat Sri Sutorn school. The man's body was trapped in the cab and later taken to Talang Hospital. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Hundreds gathered at Potong Beach earlier yesterday evening to join the Tsunami Memorial Service remembering the lives lost in the disaster 17 years ago Sunday. In Thailand, official government estimates marked over 5,000 confirmed dead and 3,700 presumed dead and 259 in Phuket, all lost to the tsunami that struck that morning of December 26, 2004. Yesterday's events began with the traditional merit-making of giving alms to monks, followed by a series of activities held at Patong Beach to commemorate the anniversary, including a candle lighting ceremony, light show, and orchestral performance. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Thanks for joining us on this post-Christmas edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow on Tuesday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.